हरे कृष्णा इस्कॉन भागवत महाविद्यालय इज एन एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन दैट इज ऑफरिंग अ वेरी सिस्टमैटिक स्टडी ऑफ शीला प्रभुपाद बुक्स स्पेशली श्रीमद भागवतम एज द नेम इट सेल्फ सजेस्ट इस्कॉन भागवत महाविद्यालय द फोकस हियर इज टू स्टडी द श्रीमद भागवतम एंड शिला प्रभुपाद परपोर्ट भक्ति वेदांत परपोर्ट्स but the speciality at shrimad uh, at bhagavat mahavidyalaya is that we study bhakti vedant purports along with the commentaries of previous acharyas along with that we also have study of shat sandarbhas of shila ji goswami and also of sanskrit grammar so all these subjects like sanskrit vyakaran sanskrit grammar or shat sandarbhas they also assist you in the study of shrimad bhagavatam in fact uh, one of the uh, acharyas in our line hare krishna acharya his name is so he says that without study of the sandarbhas bhagavatam study one one study of bhagavatam will not be complete it can have lot of uh, misunderstanding uh, into its subject matter so actual in depth study also requires uh, sandarbhas to be studied so uh what we offer specially at shrimad bhagavat mahavidyalaya is uh if you take a particular text of shrimad bhagavatam uh we go uh, on that particular text you know analyzing prabhupad's purport also analyze shila ji goswami's krama sandarbha and uh, shila vishwanath chakravarti thakur sarath darshini commentaries on that particular section on the important sections we literally go word by word from the original Uh, sanskrit that is written by the acharyas and explaining their meanings in english also the relevant sections of sandarbhas are taken so that on that particular uh, uh, verse or the topic the theme what shila ji goswami has said in sandarbhas because he makes profound philosophical points in sandarbhas so that is also shared to the students so on on a particular verse or a theme of i mean a section of verses you can have a very thorough understanding uh, from these commentaries and the sandarbhas if you talk about the usage of sanskrit in the study of bhagavatam well sanskrit vyakaran is also taught for the purpose that we do a basic anvaya of every verse so this study is actually verse by verse of shrimad bhagavatam and we do the anvaya of every verse so you know what's the syntactical arrangement that is of of that particular verse once that becomes clear then the essential message of the verse is very very clear you know so also even to understand prabhupada's purports better actually if you know where prabhupada's ideas in the purport are stemming from where are they coming from what what is the root uh, what what is the root material on which those ideas are based so then you understand even prabhupad better sometimes if a certain idea where it is coming from is not understood like which acharya has commented in that fashion so even reading prabhupad's statement one may just get a superficial meaning but if you understand where it is coming from then it becomes very easy that okay this this is what exactly prabhupad means over here you know so this is the style of actually uh, teaching at iskon bhagavat mahavidyalaya where we study bhakti vedant purports but we also you know uh, share where those ideas from prabhupad purports are coming sometimes prabhupad bases them on previous acharya's commentary sometimes he has unique insights also unique insights uh, which come in the purport and then those things are also clearly uh, differentiated it is told how this this particular idea is a unique contribution of prabhupad because you know whenever you talk about uh, presentation it has both the aspects there is fidelity and there is also the flexibility so fidelity talks about uh you know being in the line being in line with the parampara what previous acharyas have spoken while flexibility speaks about taking that message and speaking in a way that's relevant to the uh, context in which that message is being shared so prabhupad has this unique balance of fidelity and flexibility he also bases his purports from on the ideas of uh, previous acharyas and also has unique insights 
on certain verses so this both the combination both the things are uh, very nicely understood and you know uh, presented to the students so that they get this idea of uh, what prabhupada is offering in his purport so systematic study if you come to sandarbhas also systematic study of sandarbhas is there where we are going anucheda by anucheda i mean that's text by text so uh, this is like probably one of the very first times in which we are studying sandarbhas in iskon in this manner i mean as a as an official forum i am saying educational institution where we are going text by text actually it's it's not just a theme of verses or some section but every anucheda in its proper sanskrit uh, uh, you know text is discussed and all the various implications insights on that particular text are also discussed in this manner in sanskrit we have uh, been teaching panini vyakaran and that's like uh, it's taught into multiple courses that is being taught so here at bhagavat mahavidyalaya das through sanskrit through sandarbhas and also commentaries of shila prabhupada and previous acharyas it is uh, a great forum to thoroughly understand shrimad bhagavatam and its message we are also planning to offer uh, coming from uh, this year the shat darshanas within the curriculum that is there for bhakti vaibhav and vedant courses so shat darshanas uh, fundamental ideas will be taught based upon a particular books for a particular uh, darshana like you can have tarka sangraha for nyaya and similarly other books so this will also give a very good insight um, into uh, understanding of bhagavatam because many of the ideas when shila jeev goswami speaks those ideas are actually based upon a previous and he, he assumes that the student un- understands certain darshanas and certain terms from the darshanas so whenever if we are acquainted with those terms we will also be able to understand the commentaries very nicely so this is also uh, going to be an ongoing enterprise coming in our uh, course that uh, we will be teaching shat darshanas in uh, in some uh, fundamental portions okay talking about the course curriculum uh, here at bhagavat mahavidyalaya we have a one year course and also a three year course so what we offer in one year course is uh, it has the bhagavatam first six cantos canto 1 to 6 so that study uh, of uh, the first six cantos of bhagavatam is done along with tatva sandarbha and bhakti sandarbha and sanskrit vyakaran so this one year course offers you bhakti vaibhav degree okay so these three subjects are there and there is also a choice you know those of you, uh, those of you who want to go for only bhagavatam can choose or want to go only for sanskrit or grammar they can also choose but uh, all the three subjects together that also is an option and that can be taken so that's about the one year course the three year course consists of entire shrimad bhagavatam that is from canto 1 to canto 12 so this includes uh, bhakti vaibhav and bhakti vedant both the degrees so somebody does three years course he gets bhakti vaibhav and vedant so it has bhagavatam canto 1 to 12 and then all the six sandarbhas are covered in the span of three years so apart from tatva and bhakti sandarbha the remaining four sandarbhas like parmatma sandarbha bhagavat sandarbha krishna sandarbha and preeti sandarbha they are also covered in this uh, total span of 3 years along with sanskrit grammar so sanskrit grammar is there in every semester for all 3 3 years you also study sanskrit grammar so by the end of the 3 years uh, a person would be very conversant with sanskrit vyakaran uh, with the right guidance with the right preparation he would be capable enough to read commentaries on his own that's that's the basic purpose and uh, competent students should be able to do that that's the purpose so this is how our courses are placed you know one year course is bhakti vaibhav along with tatva sandarbha and bhakti sandarbha and sanskrit grammar and three year courses uh, bhakti vedanta that is bhagavatam canto 7 to 12 along with 
the remainder of Sandarbhas and Sanskrit grammar. Basically, we started last year and we are done with our batch, uh, which has moved now to Bhakti Vedanta. They have completed Bhakti Vaibha and they have moved to Vedanta, Bhakti Vedanta. So we are uh, beginning another batch of Bhakti Vaibha starting in February of 2021. So February 2021, uh, our course Bhakti Vaibha new batch begins and the registration is already available. If you want to register, please visit our website ibmedu.org ibmedu.org and you can register yourself for these courses Bhakti Vaibhav as well as the three-year course that is available. So the on-site course that we uh, offer the one-year course as well as the three-year course so this is absolutely free as far as the education is concerned there is no course fees here there is no tuition fees and also the prasadam is completely free so prasadam there is no cost as well as the course also is not charged it's completely free there is some minimum bare minimum cost regarding accommodation and uh, for that the student also has a choice if he wants to share the residence or he wants to go for an individual uh, you know separate room or like that based on that there is bare minimum cost that is uh, there for the accommodation. Those details are available at our website. Uh, talking about the course being free and also uh, the prasadam, uh, it is also absolutely free. The philosophy behind offering this course free here for those who are uh, studying it on site is uh, we value the great uh, commitment in terms of time, in terms of energy, of all those students who want to come here and study. So you see that to come here in Vrindavan and study, be single-minded, be focused on that study. So to take out that time, to take out so much of, en of energy and focus here for the study. So we very much value that. And uh, as a reciprocation for uh, our appreciation for that commitment, uh, the course is offered free to such students, you know, free. There is no course fees charged or there is absolutely no prasadam cost being charged. So that's the basic idea behind uh, uh, the course being offered free over here. Although the institute is running on the donations, but on the other side, surely we want to value uh, that great sacrifice and commitment that the people are ready to come here and take it as a full time study. Uh, and uh, do take this great uh, effort to study. Hare Krishna.